YouTube, this is Karibo 7727 I um, haven't made a video in a while. I've been kind of iffy about the game lately as far as uh, competitiveness goes. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty salty because I've been losing a rabbit, like, very consistently. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really waiting just for Cosmo Blazar. There's nothing I really want to play. I, I played Water. Uh, I talked with Madolches. Um... There's no deck right now in the meta at all that really just makes me want to play the game. I'm kind of enjoying watching right now. I'm usually never watch, but I've been watching lately. So I I join tournaments sometimes if my locals really want me to or they force me. But for the most point, right now I'm not playing until Cosmo Blazer comes out. It'll be out in a week, so I'll be officially back to hardcore playing then. But right now I'm just taking a break uh, as far as I'm concerned. I wanted to make a quick video that was going to discuss uh, a couple of the things that... Um, like, basically, I guess the state of the game address, I guess it's a good way to call it, state of Yu-Gi-Oh! game address, I'm sure other people have used that before, but the way that I feel about the game right now, the meta, I'm going to cover the meta, Cosmo Blazer, and I'm going to cover, um, the YCSs and the events that they announced. Um, as far as the meta goes, as much as I hate Rabbit, it's, pr it's pretty clear cut that Wind Up is the best deck of the format right now, uh, at least pre-Blazer for sure. Um, everybody's hoping that the March list will take care of that. I'm going to make a whole separate video for a ban list. As a matter of fact, but I guess that's for later. Yeah, it's wind-ups. Wind-ups, water, and rabbit are definitely the, uh, number one decks as far as I'm concerned. Um, especially here in Texas, a lot of people play rabbit and a lot of people play uh, wind-ups. There's not as much water as it was before, but I'm willing to bet that an East Coast water is crazy. Like, it's just like a regional, it's a regional thing. Um... There's really nothing else to say about it. I don't know how the next set will impact the meta as much. Usually I give like a tier 2 or tier 3 list, but I mean, there's so many decks out there that are good and some that aren't good, but they're still good to me. So I'm not even going to do that. Just Water, Rabbit, and Wind Up are the best decks, period, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I guess I can talk about Cosmo Blazar. Uh, it's a pretty decent set. I wouldn't say that it's the nuts. It's, it's decent. It has... Um, yeah, everybody knows it has Haze Beast, it has Fire Fist, and some people are just crazy about Fire Fist. I, uh, overall, to me, it always felt I always felt like it was an underwhelming archetype. But um, apparently, I could be wrong. It, it could just break out the doors. I don't know how. But I know that the Trap Cards and Horror and Phantom Beast are good, but I don't know how you could base a whole deck upon that. That's going to be your whole focus. And it seems like it has like a lot of weaknesses to me. So, um, I, I, I want to be proved wrong. If a Fire Fist topped YCS Miami, I, I wouldn't say I'd be sack riding, but I'd definitely get a good look at the deck list and who did it, and I'd probably contact them, depending on how many it was, because I'm curious how they, how they got it to work, you know? Um, the other good things uh, in the deck is Breakthrough Skill. It's like um, a Phoenix Chain, but without the weakness to MST, and it's not like Divine Raps, so you don't have to pay anything. It's definitely a good card by itself. It's kind of like Chalice, but they don't gain the 400. So it's good and it's bad. But you can use it twice. Once during their turn and once at any time during your turn. It's kind of like um, some of those other trap cards that activate in the graveyard. I, I can't think of the name. I know, I know one's Mr. for the Yakai. I can't remember the other one. But, but it's definitely a good card on its own. I don't know how game-breaking it will be, but I can definitely see it sided and catching play. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I know I'm definitely looking for two of them at least because I want to I want to try them out. And I, I guess the last thing Cosmo Blazar is the TCG exclusives. Uh, they've already confirmed, Kevin Tour already confirmed that there's not going to be any Prophecy TCG exclusives this set because they couldn't fit them in uh, via Pojo. But, you know, when I asked about, like, Madolche's, you know, he didn't have any comment on that. Or, you know, it's even possible Mermos could get another TCG exclusive just to promote the sales of Blazar and help promote Abyss Rising even further. Um, which is why I don't think they're going to get touched by the list at all. People want Undyne to get touched. It's not going to get touched, but I'll save that for another video. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Cosmo Blazar overall, it's, it's okay. Um, Tachyon Galaxy is going to be the set. That's going to come out in the Americas in springtime, April or May. Probably April, late April, early May. It's gonna that's gonna be the Nats defining set. Like that'll define how the Nats season will go. I will be a Nats. I can promise that I go every year, so it's not an issue. Um 
I guess that's just about covered as far as Cosmo Blazar goes. I, I, hopefully, the TCG exclusives will be much more enlightening or much more creative this time. Because lately, they've been a lot of letdowns. There has been. Like, plain and simple. The best TCG exclusives have probably been Tour Guide lately. And I'm sure I'm probably forgetting some, um, you know, Doka, blah, blah, blah. But you get my point. Don't get me started on Doka. That's half the reason why I'm not playing right now. So, and uh, I guess let's go cover the events. We have Miami and we have uh, Austin. Um, granted, I'm recently currently unemployed. I'm not planning on going to Miami. I definitely wanted to go just for the experience to say I've gone. I could go at the last second. It doesn't cost a lot for me to go because I will drive. I'm not flying. I heard rumors that there were flights going for $200 back and forth. If I can find that, I'll jump on a plane and uh, first thing in the morning. But until then, I, I could ride with a friend or whatever. I highly doubt that I'll go, though. So good luck to all the people who's going. Um, I know a lot of ARG people is going to be there. And, you know, people, local teams around here. I'm not going to drop names right now because it'll look like favoritism. But I know a lot of people are going to go. A lot of people are going to have a really good time going. Um, so I won't be there. Why see it? Then again, why see it's Austin? I stay in Dallas. So I'm like 175% sure I'm going to be there. Uh, no reason for me not to be there. I'm, uh, that's going to be new list. Why see it's Austin? Which is amazing. So everybody's going to be on their toes. Which is the best formats to me. Some people say no, the format's better when the, when the meta's clearly defined. And I obviously disagree with that because I don't like the level of, I don't want to say followers, but uninnovativeness. I'm an innovative player. Um, I look up to Jeff Jones for innovation and other players who I know to innovate, even with techs and side deck choices. People question my side deck choices all the time. I have some pretty hilarious ones. Um, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> but um, So yeah, why since Austin is definitely going to be a thrill. It's going to be a new list. Uh, I'll be there. Um, I guess there's really nothing else to say about it. That's just how I feel about the game right now. I'll post a video about ban list. And I might post a video about the Cosmo Blazar, uh, the meta post Cosmo Blazar. Um, if y'all want me to, I will. I'll let y'all vote on that down there. I um, won't break my back trying to decide anything. My nose looks huge. It moves. Oh. Anyway, uh, I'm a little weird. Um, so thank y'all again for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and uh, make, voice your opinions on the meta. And maybe rabbit sucks. People always tell me rabbit's not that good. It could draw dead. Yeah, that's true. But it can also draw the balls, and the balls is almost unbeatable. I have a much harder time dealing with the uh, rabbit than windups any day. I'll take that to the moon. But I guess it's just matchups and the people I play around here. But you never know. Um, so. Yeah, let me know what you think about everything. And uh, I'll definitely get into depth coverage of band lists of what must go and and what must come back and what I wish would come back. I might even make that two separate videos because, spoiler, I'm an Imperial Order fan. But I'm not even going to go into that. So this is Dynastic Creebo signing out.